Hi all, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with a university in PA. Uh, you like that voltage, 1.54 volts? Okay, what this is, is a simple little battery you can make very quickly. Take a pill bottle. I have it in a beaker. Just to give it a little bit of additional support so it doesn't topple over. Uh, take some uh, copper wire. Oh, 24, 26 gauge in that range. And uh, bear it at a couple of ends. One to put in the uh, cell you're creating, the wet cell, and the other to extend out for multimeter contact. And uh, what's in this wet cell? Water, distilled water, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt. I have about a tablespoon in there. And uh, I'm using a graphite rod. Burn some pencils if you have to. I've got plenty of graphite rod and I have that extending out. Uh, I burned a couple holes in the top, punch them out. Make sure the electrodes don't uh, touch or you'll short circuit of course. I don't have a membrane or separator because this will work fine. You can assemble this very quickly. Now what I have wrapped around the copper wire, magnesium ribbon. My magnesium ribbon, I've had it around. You can get this from, uh, I got this from Fisher Scientific. And uh, I take the magnesium metal ribbon and wrap it around the copper that's in the cell. And then I've got the graphite, uh, a little uh, graphite uh, rod in there as well. Here's a top view of this simple little cell I put together. You could put this together in about five minutes, but it's pretty neat. And uh, you got 1.54 volts. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, of course, the magnesium, you will see some gas coming off the surface uh, as it slowly reacts with water, and it'll build a pacification layer around it. But this is a very nice cell to put together if you're experimenting at home or in school. Uh, I use this with some of my non-science majors in a course I teach to get them up and running so they can begin to study a battery. So this is the open voltage, 1.54 volts. Now, let me uh, do a short circuit. I'll take it down to, uh, you could do it at a 1 o'clock position. Look for this uh, MA. You can do that too. And uh, I've got it down to uh, the 200 uh, milliamp. So I did a short, and you get about 20 milliamps maximum. I'm down around 10.2. It's holding pretty good there for the short circuit. So you draw in 10.3, 10.4 milliamps. Hey, it just went up the 10. Look at that. It's going up. Okay, let me go back to the open voltage, see if it rebounds at all. Let's see what we get. We shorted it out, and it's rebounding very quickly, and it'll scoop back up there. Now, I actually, what I do, I'm not going to be using magnesium ribbon in uh, water, in a wet cell, but I will be using uh, a chemical called thionyl chloride and pairing it with lithium metal and magnesium as well in thionyl chloride with some uh, lithium aluminum tetrachlorate electrolyte because I'm interested in batteries uh, three and a half four volts and trying to use certain electrolyte additives to uh, try to get over four volts but uh, I work in a fume hood with that and that's another YouTube video boy this is rebounding very nicely so you have a nice little wet cell to work with it's a nice one and uh, very easy to put together you could probably small, uh, run a small uh, white LED. I use these all the time. I get them from the garden cell, garden uh, photovoltaic, garden uh, solar cell. Pop the nickel cat out, and I use the little white LED uh, as a small load. So where's, where are we going now? One point, uh, yeah, 1.25.
I enjoy putting these videos together uh, for people that are very, very interested in working with batteries. Hey, thanks for watching, and I have other ones I'll be loading, some of them more practical for uh, doing it yourself, and others more of a uh, educational. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.